Hello everybody, today I'm going to show you a new project that I'm going to do. I have um, this old um, comforter, but I hate to throw it away or, or donate it because it has a really nice print. I like this Hawaiian print and it's the cushion that I made for my patio furniture is green. It matches this comforter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a cushion for my patio chair and my lounge chair. The comforter that I have, I think I have the queen size comforter. It's perfect because it can make two cushions, one for my lounge chair and one for my um, regular um, chair. He, so here's my comforter, really nice Hawaiian print. And so the, the measurement on this comforter, um, the, the width is 74 and then the length is 85. So the when I measured my my chair, my chair um, measures 19 uh, uh, wide by 41 long. So what I'm going to do because this is uh, kind of like thinner, so it's a little bit thin. I'm going to double it. So I'm going to cut this whole length, this whole length, and then um, fold it in half. So it's just perfect length because the length is 85 if i uh it's okay if it's a little bit long so i'm not gonna uh, cut it exactly to length because it's okay if it's a little bit long so i'm so it's so 85 and then i'll fold it in half that would be perfect so now my my uh cushion would be a little bit thicker now the remainder of of the comforter it's perfect for my lounge chair because my lounge chair measures 22 and a half by 70. So I'm going to fold this in half too, and then that would double um, for my lounge chair. So I'm measuring 23 across. And now I have this and I'm going to fold it like so. So now the remaining um, comforter, I can use this for my lounge chair. The comforter is it's thin, see right here. So it's not gonna be comfortable when you sit on it, but um, what I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to put some cushion um, fiber fill. Now, you don't have to buy a fiber fill at the store, but if you have some old um, pillows, you know, you can use that uh, fiber fill on those pillows to insert. But I happen to have this one here, which is a, I have this because I used to make um, sock dolls, but since I don't make that anymore, I have all this leftover fabric, I mean leftover materials for my sock dolls. So I'm going to insert that in here. Okay, so. Um, this is the, the piece for my lounge chair. So it's, um, it's a long piece, but I folded it lengthwise. So then there's two pieces, which I folded, see, I folded it. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going, because it's thin, see how thin it is? I'm going to sew horizontal you know um horizontal lines i'm going to stitch horizontal so creating a pocket you know and then once that pocket is created then i'm going to insert the fiber fill here's a picture of the long comforter that i'm going to use for the lounge i'm going to sew horizontal horizontally like one two three, four, maybe five, and then create a pocket. So I was able to successfully sew um, one straight line here and I created a pocket. Here, so I'm going to insert some foam here. The problem is, as we 
as I go down and try to sew here, it's harder because um, the sewing machine, the arm can only fit just not a whole lot. So I might have to just um, hand sew it. I think I'll just hand sew it, okay? And so you want to fold it uh, right side in and then just sew and then sew the top and all the way on the sides. But leave the, the other side open because you're going to uh, um, insert, uh, invert it, okay? So. So what you can do, you can use a barbecue stick to insert in here, but I don't have a barbecue stick, so I'm using this um, tool you use for when you have a lobster. I see, now it's already on there. And so now what, what I want to do, I don't want to use the sharp end because it's going to poke it. Use the dull end and the, end and the bottom and I don't want to poke my table piece of paper and try to push that in there okay. and remove that and just pull it You want to you gotta sew slowly because it's thick. You want to go back and forth probably three times. So now you on the other side side you're gonna put um, these two in here two straps if you want to just turn make it if you want to have a little curve in there just push this in and then you'll have a little bit of curve in there you don't want to put this One side it has this one and the other one it's this one okay so okay so now I finally finished sewing it so the, the, the top I put this two ties you know the, this one here and this one here and on on here I made I sewed on each you know section crosswise and created a pocket so now I have a pocket in between those two sheets. If you notice, there's, there's a pocket here, and then there's another pocket there, and there's four pockets, and actually five. There's another one here, and another one there. So I'm going to insert uh, the fiber fill in here. So after filling this out, what you're going to do now is you're going to have to sew this closet, okay? So um, you can hand sew it or you can go to the sewing machine and hold this like that and then sew it. I'm going to show you how I hand stitch the end or the side without uh, the thread showing okay so if you can see it right there so the thread I already started this so this is the thread and you go across right and then 
go like this and then when you pull it see the thread won't show and then you go the other side across then the side and and then across again just re keep repeating cross under on the side and when you pull it see the thread's going to disappear so So this, this is how it looks like after I hand sew it. See, you, you don't see the thread. Okay, so that's how it should be, but, um, okay.